Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Sachs, and I'm here with Teresa Schmidt. We're both from Sachs Wellness Center, and we're going to talk a little further about stress today. And there's so many ways that stress affects us in, um, in real life day-to-day -day situations. And so um, I know you had something in mind for how you wanted to approach that today. I just, I think I want to expand a little bit on the effect that stress can have, not just on our body, but actually on the immune system itself. Mm -hmm. um, we talked last time about, you know, how it affects different things, but I want to specifically address the immune system because a lot of the feedback I get from people on how, like, even if we just use COVID as an example of how their body handled COVID. Hmm. And I would say the people that, um, you know, that doing everything they thought they were doing everything right, didn't eat sugar, you know, not sugar eaters, not grain eaters, but still found COVID more difficult to deal with. Like, what about that? You know, I think a lot of that, you do have to take that step back and see how much stress is going on in the, in the life of mm -hmm. that person. Mm -hmm. It can be their job. The brain doesn't care where stress is coming from. Sure. The brain yeah. does not discern the difference between if it's physical stress, if it's emotional stress, if it's nutritional stress, or environmental. The brain doesn't care. Even if it's real or not. True. It, it can be yep. just yeah. in our minds. Yep. And, yeah. and it, can be re it can be triggered. It can PTSD. Mm -hmm. You know, that yeah. kind of stress is still every bit as real a stress as you know, any other stresses. So the brain doesn't discern that very mm -hmm. well. And so when we are stressing, the body will do what it needs to do for immediate survival. And so it doesn't put the energy into the immune system. Mm -hmm. That it, it's just like it doesn't put the energy into digestion. Mm -hmm. it, it's not gonna put the energy into the immune system if it thinks it has an immediate survival issue. Sure. So. That means that if you're, if you come in contact with something, and it, COVID or not COVID, it can be bacteria. Right now, we're having a raft of bacterial issues. Um, the kids are still in school. We are having the latest spring I can remember. Yeah. Normally, <clears throat> mid-April at the 45th parallel, so along Gaylord, in Gaylord, 45th parallel, I'm starting to taper people off vitamin D. I everybody's still on full blown yeah, D. Yeah, me too. It's That's been cold. Finding. It's been dreary. It's not been sunny. We can't go out with short sleeve, short pants. So our vitamin D levels aren't what they are normally this time of year. So the the um, late winter, early spring colds are dragging on. We still have full blown colds coming from the schools. Mm -hmm. Everybody's mm -hmm. coming in sick. So and that's all bacterial. That's not even viral, but that is still happening because D is low and we're getting towards the end of the school year, the teachers are stressed. The kids are doing their testing, they're stressed. And then they hear about stuff out in the world. So there's a lot of stress going on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the economy, the war, add it all in. So I think that's why that's we're seeing lot. so many more colds actually being able to take cold right now. Mm -hmm. So I, I just think people need to be aware that stress does do that does affect the immune system and so for all those things we talked about last time that we don't do when we're stressed <laughs> we have to try to remember to do go to bed for goodness sake go to bed get to bed by 10 don't as much as possible don't eat sugar mm -hmm. because sugar suppresses the immune system so you're just undermining your own body's ability to do it and if the immune system's already weak it just weakens it further mm -hmm. drink your water you know do the best you can to alleviate the stress or if it just is what it is then do the things like a little bit of cardio exercise burn off that excess adrenaline bring that down so that you can sleep when you go to bed you can sleep mm -hmm. so those types of things um, yoga um, meditating all the things we know work for us that we stop doing when we stress really try to get back into that yeah so it's very influential what stress does to us. Yeah, you know, it's this brings out how interconnected and complex this mechanism that we live in, you know, <laughs> yes. is. Yes. Um, because every action that we do or don't do is going to affect us in some way. Mm -hmm. And 
particularly the immune system, literally can have an influence on every other part of our body. Yeah. So we might get symptoms or feel ill that might be actually caused by stress, but it's showing up anywhere. Oh yeah. It's showing up on our stomach. It's showing up, you know, anywhere in the digestive system, and, mm -hmm. you know, anywhere. So. Absolutely. It can show up physically, like in your back. Sure. Or in your neck yep. or in your hips. Yep. You know, even that can um, be influenced by stress and the body not breaking things down like it should, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So it has an all around effect. And I think, you know, what I appreciate about the things you were talking about was that I think so many times people feel like, there isn't anything they can do about it, right. you know? Mm -hmm. It's hopeless. just stress, it's and hopeless. that's my mm -hmm. that's my life, that's mm -hmm. my day, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But really, all those things that you listed have an incredible effect mm -hmm. on it, so. Yeah, and um, I mean, yep, there are some things we can't control. We have no control over. And we do have to kind of um, filter that, and if, if it's something you totally don't have control over, you know, try not to fuss about it then. You know, You're easier have said to than okay. done. I get it. I get that. <laughs> easier said than done. But, yeah. okay, so we can't control the war. We can't control that kind of stuff. Stop watching the news. <laughs> Stop watching it. Mm -hmm. Quit exposing yourself to that. It's almost like an adrenaline junkie. You know, get all worked up about mm -hmm. it because mm -hmm. you keep watching it. Stop. Just mm -hmm. stop doing that. Um, go do something nice for somebody. You know, make yourself feel better. Uh, but we do have... There are things we don't ha have control over, but there are some things we do. Yeah. And, and what we put in our mouth is one of them. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Really big one. Yeah. So we hope that these things are helpful for you. And if you have further questions, you want to know anything more, please feel free to contact us. You can do, through, you can do that through our website, www.sexwellnesscenter.com, or give us a call, 989-732-7000.